so I got some coupons from my school and so I have like some free drinks that I can get but I think I can only get them at the downtown location so I'm not too sure though so I'm actually gonna go uh, downtown to this area where there's two thrift stores next to each other and then I'm just gonna go thrifting and get my free drinks and that's the plan for today Nature's brew. Okay, voiceover Rosanna here. Um, so the first place I went to was the Salvation Army at Bloor Street. The location was kind of small, but after walking a bunch of circles, I was able to find something in the men's section. Okay, hi. Um, I'm a terrible vlogger, but um, I'm just outside the thrift store now. That's the thrift store. Um, now that I'm finished, I'm actually going to head over to a value village. It's like a five minute walk. From, you can't even see it. Yeah. Value Village over there. It's like five minute walk. I was fixing a zipper on my pants and it kind of looked like I was peeing in the corner. So that's so fun. Uh, that lady gave me a very weird stare. Next, I headed over to the Value Village that was also at Bloor Street and I was very shocked by how large the place was. I ended up spending a good amount of my time in the denim aisle. I also found this briefcase of dumbbells and unfortunately I am a weak bitch. So um, yeah, I ended up leaving them behind. I didn't have a car to carry them. I also found this really cute leather moto jacket, but the sleeves were a little too short, so I didn't get them either. Endless. Hello guys, welcome to my room. I'm going to show you everything that I got from the thrift store. It looks more than it actually is. I was going to film this right when I got home, but I got lazy, so I put on the same outfit and I'm going to film it now instead so it kind of feels like I filmed it the same day. Uh, but the first store I went to was Salvation Army. They are cheaper and they have no tax but they didn't have as many things as value village does and yeah that might have to do with the fact the location was small but i really couldn't find much except for these very cute denim shorts and as you can tell they are a different color from the one i'm wearing right now and not many shorts fit me right now i have quite a lot of denim but most of it doesn't fit me at the moment um before COVID, I was a smaller size, and now that I've been very inactive and stuck at home, nothing fits me except for like tie-up stuff and elastic skirts, and these pair of shorts still fit me, thankfully, they're my favorite. Um, and now I have these, and hopefully, and no, I tried them on, they fit me, perfect. Um, they are a size 27, so it is like ever so slightly a little bit bigger, but when I eat, they fit perfect so I'm thinking that these could be like my buffet shorts which will be perfect for when I go to KBBQ with my friends again. Um, they were $6.99 and I found them in the men's section. It literally says men's shorts there. I don't know if these are actually men's. I would say they're more unisex than they would be men's but if these were in the women's section they would have been gone very quickly so I'm happy to put it, put it there because if they didn't it would have been gone. Um, yeah. I'm very happy with these shorts. Check the men's section, you'll find great things. And uh, I didn't get any other clothing items there, I was happy to just find that one item. I did however get books, I got Game of Thrones! Um, I got A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin. It's part of the A Song of Ice and Fire series, i.e. the Game of Thrones series. I love the TV series, it is my favorite TV series ever. Um, and yeah, I figured I would probably like the books. I heard they're just as good or better than the the TV series, so I'm excited to read that. And this was a dollar ninety nine. All paperback books there are dollar ninety nine. And then I got another Game of Thrones book. It's A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms. This one is a hardcover, so it was three ninety nine. And when I was in the thrift store, I opened it up and then noticed there were illustrations throughout it and I was like yeah this isn't a Song of Ice and Fire series book and it's not. It takes place a century before Game of Thrones so I guess it's like a prequel. That was pretty cool. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it but I was like what if I never come across it again so I bought it. Yeah and then the next store I went to was Value Village. Don't show your credit card information. And I went to the one at Bloor Street in Toronto. Really nice. Wow I was very shocked that a downtown location has their own parking lot and it was huge and they had so many great things. I wanted to get these dumbbell weights and it was like in a briefcase and it was a two pound, a three pound, a five pound and it was only $25 but 
I could not get it because it was way too heavy and I had no car to carry everything by hand. Yeah, I don't regret it though, it was just way too heavy. But the first item I got here is, where is it? These Levi's 721 high rise skinnies in black. They're a pair of skinny jeans. You can never go wrong with a pair of black skinny jeans. They were $16.99. I was debating for a while if I should spend $17 at the thrift store. And I decided to get them mainly because they are Levi's. They have a little tag there. As you can see, it's black, so it's like a modern pair of Levi's. Well, they're skinny jeans, so you can tell right there they're a modern pair. Um, yeah, I decided to spend the amount and hope that they would be really nice. And they were very nice. I'm really happy that I got this. Um, all of the skinny jeans that I own are either too small, just like slightly too small in the waist area, it's not too comfortable or the length is not long enough and this much of my ankle will show, which is not cute. But I would wear them anyways because like black skinny jeans go well with everything, right? But I'm really happy to have this pair now because it means I can get rid of the bad skinny jeans that I have. Yeah, um, these are really nice. They're great quality. Um, I love Levi's. I say as I only own one pair, now I own two pairs of Levi's, but I'm very happy with them and I highly recommend them. I put them, I couldn't try it on, so I put them against my legs in the mirror and I could tell it was perfect because the length went all the way and is great. It like scrunches just a little bit at the bottom, that's how I know it's the right length for me. And the waist fits perfect and something I was not expecting is that the waist, no, the, not the waist, the hip the hip area looks so good. I have never seen my hips look that good in skinny jeans before in my entire life. And I saw on the Levi's website, apparently these were made to make your hips look good, which makes a lot more sense because I was very shocked by that. Okay, so this is probably the only fun item that I got and it is this dark blue nightgown. It's very pretty. It's got a dark blue floral pattern throughout and on the top there is a dark blue and black lace and little bows on the strap area. I'm not the biggest fan of the bows, but it's part of the original piece so I'm going to keep it there. Um, not a shock to me at all that the boob area does not fit very great. It's a little too big for me, but the rest of the dress fits perfect. It's a size small and it cinches so nicely at the waist and then like flares down at the bottom and it just it's very flattering something i was very shocked about was that it is a vintage victoria's secret gold label piece which means i believe it's from the 80s i didn't even know vintage victoria's secret was even a thing but i found this instagram account called the birds and they resell like thrifted vintage pieces that they find and that she resells a lot of vintage Victoria's Secret and they're gorgeous little like slip dresses with slits and all beautiful colors and she resells them for like $200 which is crazy so I was on the lookout for some vintage BS pieces and I actually found one I was very shocked um I should mention that her pieces are probably way higher quality than mine I think hers were like Charmeuse silk or something the this I don't think that this is I I don't really know, um, but I'm sure hers were higher quality because she sold them for like 200. Um, I got this for 8.99, but yeah, it looks very good, and I'm gonna keep this for myself. I love it. Um, I'm thinking that this could be okay for like a Toronto nightclub scene, right? Like if I accessorize it and wear some nice boots or something, or if I want to make it family friendly, I guess I could wear a white turtleneck underneath and then there you go it's less ho <laughs> okay my camera overheated for a bit uh, but the next item i've got are these more black these black jeans um they're by a brand called brody jeans they have the little tag at the back again that i love whenever i go thrifting and i'm looking in the denim section because there's a lot you gotta look through them i always look for a tag because usually that's an indicator that they're vintage or it's an indicator that the jeans are usually a good material not always but i have come to find that when they have the tag they are a better material it is a nice thick black denim that i really like and um I just, this one is definitely a vintage pair i can tell by this white tag here and this one here but it says flare leg and that's how i realized that the bottom is flared as you can see um that was kind of holding me back from buying them but they were such a nice pair of denim i decided to buy them and i don't mind the flare at all i actually really like it and i think i could do some really cute outfits with it it'll be kind of fun and it's thicker which will be a little warmer during the winter time um 
The only issue is the waist doesn't fit perfectly on me. It's just ever so slightly too small. Like I have to suck in to button it, but then after I button it, it's pretty comfortable. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these yet because I know they'll fit me probably in the future. Um, yeah, but I have 12 days to decide if I wanna exchange them, but I do like them a lot. And then the final pair that I got are more black denim. It is this pair of black jeans by a brand called Cherokee, which also has a tag. And surprisingly, it's made of black, black. It's made of um, leather. It's made of real leather, surprisingly. Um, yeah, but they're really cute. And I believe they're, well, I believe they're straight legged. I don't really know my jeans too well, but I'm just gonna say that this is straight leg because it's straight all the way down the leg. <laughs> I realize I have a lot of skinny jeans in my closet and they're not very comfortable, they're very tight and sometimes I just want to have like some loose pair of jeans to slip on. So I was looking for mom jeans but straight leg is fine too as long as it's loose and it is and it's very comfortable. The waist is perfect on me and I love them. Uh, what's really interesting about this pair is they're actually not technically black. I think this passes is black but it's like a, I don't know if you can, well if you can't. I don't know if you can see, but it is like a dark, it's a very dark blue, almost black. But I really like these. And I will definitely be keeping them. They were $8.99 and the other pair of jeans were $7.49. Yeah. And then for the last final items I got are more Game of Thrones books. Whoa. I got two more. I got the second book, uh, A Clash of Kings, and what's this one? Book three? This one's book three. It's A Storm of Swords. Whenever I get these hard, whenever I get hardcover books, I like to remove the marketing jacket and see what's underneath, and it's just a plain black book. But on the spine, it's like a really pretty metallic green on there, and I was thinking this would look really cool on my bookshelf. I don't know. Uh, for now, I'm just getting the whole series, but I'm starting to think that maybe I should just get hardcovers because they're way better quality. They just last longer. The, I've come to find that paperbacks from thrift stores, they're a little bit more worn. Whereas, like, I mean, this looks pretty great condition, honestly. But yeah, I was thinking this would look really cool on a bookshelf or something. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, and I'm excited to read them. Thank you for watching my video. And I'm sorry that the entire thrift haul was just... Game of Thrones books and black denim, but I hope you still enjoyed it.